Okay, typical 1980s panel I had to replace, but there were two interesting things that came up during the job. Uh, but first of all, I didn't feel comfortable speaking in the people's basement, so I recorded a bunch of video, and I'm going to try to do with the voiceover kind of video thing you see people do. My first try, we'll see how it goes. So this panel was not bonded correctly, and it had a warning label in the back that we no longer see in panels. It's kind of interesting to see. So I also didn't realize how full this panel was. Uh, until after I'd swapped it out. You definitely usually want to leave some extra, but here's the before, after, and middle pictures of the progress of the day so you can see how it went. There is room for a sub panel on the left, so if the fact that it's full ever comes up to be a problem, we can add a sub panel on the left. So back then, instead of a bonding screw, they had a bonding strap. See that strap that goes over and then hooks down to another screw? That's supposed to be how it's bonded, but you'll notice when I start to take it apart, that strap is not underneath the lug. Somebody had removed it from the lug to make room for that copper wire. Watch what happens as I started taking it apart. Watch, as soon as I moved and tugged on the neutral, that strap is free. It's not under the lug at all. And even the screw that mounts it to the can is even not fully tightened. Watch, I could just wiggle it. So this can, or this panel has been sitting here for God knows how long, not even bonded at all whatsoever. Also, this panel comes from a time when deox was required. You can see right there on the sticker, there's a warning label that says it's required. Um, let's look at the label closer. I know this is going to come as a shock to some people. Some people have heard the debate a thousand times. Deox is not required on modern aluminum conductors. They changed the alloy in the 80s, and since then we have not needed it. Square D even warns, to have caution when using petroleum-based ones because they can deteriorate the insulation and the plastic of the breaker. So it's not bad to use when used properly, but it's not required to be used either. Like I said, the beginning of this year, I thought we needed it. Sometime around March on an Angry Sparky video, I learned we don't need it. And usually when I inform people, hey, you know, we don't need that anymore, they usually say, well, until I see some labeling or, you know, something telling me I don't need it, then that means we need it. It's the opposite. If we, In order for us to need it, it has to be in the instructions that we have to use it or labeled on the panel that we have to use it. Uh, and this panel is proof that when the aluminum needed it, they used to put warning labels on the panels saying to use it. And then when they reformulated the alloy, meaning we don't need it anymore, they removed the warning labels. But somehow we, everyone just stuck. Keep using it. But I don't know. I'm sure I'm still going to get, well, in my jurisdiction, you wouldn't get away with that in Massachusetts. You wouldn't get away with that in Connecticut. I don't know. Same arguments you always get from the Internet. All right. Thanks very much.